the 101st Airborne Division was activated on August the 16th, 1942, at Camp Claiborne, Louisiana. Its first commander, Major General William C. Lee, noted that while the division had no history, it had a rendezvous with destiny. He understood that the new division would be called into action when the need was immediate and extreme. And he could foresee that one day it would fall on its enemies like a thunderbolt from the skies. The division's first rendezvous with destiny came on June the 6th, 1944, landing on the Koten Peninsula by parachute and glider in the early morning hours, the Screaming Eagles became the first Allied soldiers to set foot onto occupied France. Charged with clearing the way for the 4th Infantry Division's landing on Utah Beach, the 101st Airborne Division eventually linked the Utah and Omaha beachheads and liberated the city of Carrington. Only months later, on September the 17th, 1944, the division jumped into the Netherlands, spearheading Operation Market Garden. Holding open a narrow 16-mile corridor through enemy-held territory, the division fought against heavy odds for 72 days before returning to France in late November 1944 for a well-deserved rest. Once again, the rest proved to be a short one. Two months later, the 101st Airborne Division was recalled to the front to counteract the massive German offensive through the Ardennes Forest. Responsible for defending the critical road junction at Bastogne, Belgium, the division was surrounded by strong enemy forces that demanded its immediate surrender. Responding to the German ultimatum, Brigadier General Anthony C. McCullough made history with his famous one-word reply when he responded by saying, nuts. Although the siege of Bastogne was broken on December the 26, 1944, intense fighting continued until mid-January 1945. The Allied units had effectively reduced Nazi gains in the area. Attacking into the heart of Germany, through the Ruhr Valley, the 101st Airborne Division pursued retreating German forces into Bavaria. In spring 1945, the Screaming Eagles liberated the Landsberg concentration camp and Hitler's mountaintop retreat in Berchtesgaden. With the war over and a noteworthy history already behind it, the 101st was inactivated on November the 30th, 1945. The immediate post-war period marked an intermittent existence for the Screaming Eagles, with several reactivations and inactivations at Camp Breckenridge, Kentucky, and later Fort Jackson, South Carolina. The Screaming Eagles were finally reactivated on September the 21st, 1956, at Fort Campbell, Kentucky. There, in the peaceful countryside of Tennessee and Kentucky, it began its preparation for challenges expected on a nuclear battlefield. Fortunately, that day never came. Instead, one year later, in September 1957, as nine African-American students, known as the Little Rock Nine, attended classes at Little Rock Central High School in Little Rock, Arkansas, President Dwight D. Eisenhower sent elements of the 101st Airborne Division to safeguard their passage. From there, the division continued its stateside role through the challenging and troubled 1960s in places like Oxford, Mississippi and Detroit, Michigan. Soon, the division was off on its next rendezvous with destiny. On July 29, 1965, the 1st Brigade of the 101st Airborne Division arrived at Cameron Bay in the Republic of Vietnam, where it quickly earned the nickname the Nomads of Vietnam. The remainder of the division stayed at Fort Campbell until ordered to Vietnam in late 1967. During the enemy's ill-fated Tet Offensive, the Screaming Eagles were involved in combat operations from Saigon to Quang Tri Province. Later, the division settled into Tuatien province, where it continued 
offensive operations. In August 1968, the Screaming Eagles shed their parachutes in favor of helicopter-borne operations, earning a new designation, the 101st Airborne Division, Air Mobile. Following another successful campaign, the division began its redeployment from the Republic of Vietnam in the fall of 1971. The official welcome home ceremony took place at Fort Campbell on April the 6th, 1972. The post-Vietnam period was a time of change for the Army and the 101st Airborne Division, Air Mobile. In February 1974, then Major General Sidney Berry signed Division General Order Number 179, authorizing wear of the new Air Mobile Qualification Badge. Reflecting a shift in its organizational structure and reorientation toward fighting Warsaw Pact nations, the division was redesignated as the 101st Airborne Division Air Assault on October the 4th, 1974. Less than eight years later, in March 1982, elements of the 101st Airborne Division Air Assault began the first of its many six-month deployments to the Sinai Peninsula. As a result of the Camp David Accords between Egypt and Israel, the Screaming Eagles went as members of the multinational force and observers. One of the darkest days in the division's history occurred when tragedy struck on December the 12th, 1985. Flying home from the Sinai Peninsula in time for Christmas, 248 Screaming Eagles were killed when their plane crashed near Gander, Newfoundland. Always on the ready, the 101st Airborne Division Air Assault deployed next in August 1990 in support of operations Desert Shield and Desert Storm. During the liberation of Kuwait, the division fired the first shots of the air war. As they secured Iraqi territory in the Euphrates River Valley, the division conducted the longest and largest air assault operations to date. Following the announcement, of the Sofwan ceasefire, the Screaming Eagles were home again by May of 1991. Ten years later, on September the 11th, 2001, terrorism struck home and the world changed. Within three months, by the end of November 2001, leading elements of the 3rd Brigade Combat Team deployed to Afghanistan in support of what would become known as Operation Enduring Freedom. In March 2002, the Rakasans were, in part, responsible for offensive operations in the Shoikot Valley and dealt a crippling blow to the Taliban and Al-Qaeda. One year later, in February and March of 2003, the division deployed to Kuwait. In a grueling air and ground movement of 570 kilometers through Iraq's hostile territory and intense combat in urban areas, the division exhibited its flexibility and lethal firepower at every turn. Fighting its way from Najaf through Karbala and Hilla, the division eventually consolidated in southern Baghdad in mid-April 2003. Ordered to northern Iraq shortly thereafter, the division conducted the longest air assault in history and quickly assumed responsibility for Mosul. After another successful engagement, the Screaming Eagles redeployed to Fort Campbell in early 2004. In November 2005, the division headquarters, along with the 1st and 3rd Brigade Combat Teams and the 101st Combat Aviation Brigade, deployed to Iraq for a second time as Task Force Band of Brothers. The division assumed responsibility for the northern half of Iraq the largest area of operation in the country. Under the Army's new modular structure, 2nd and 4th Brigade Combat Teams and the 159th Combat Aviation Brigade were attached to other multinational division or multinational force commands elsewhere in Iraq. After a short time at home in late 2007, the majority of the division deployed again. This time, the 1st, 2nd and 3rd Brigade Combat Teams and elements of the Sustainment Brigade deployed independently to Iraq 
were each served under the command of different multinational divisions. The 101st Combat Aviation Brigade deployed to Afghanistan and was eventually relieved by the 159th Combat Aviation Brigade. These units were followed by the division headquarters the following spring. In March 2008, the division headquarters and its special troops battalion joined the 4th Brigade Combat Team and the 101st Sustainment Brigade in Afghanistan in support of Operation Enduring Freedom. As Combined Joint Task Force 101, the warriors of the 101st trained Afghan National Security Forces where side by side they pursued insurgent groups wherever they could be found. After a brief respite at home, the Screaming Eagles began training for its most recent rendezvous with destiny. When planning the surge in Afghanistan, the Army characteristically relied on the 101st Airborne Division Air Assault. In support of Operation Enduring Freedom, for the first time, the entire division was deployed to Afghanistan. Although divided between two major commands, Regional Command East and Regional Command South, the division brought its unique capabilities and tenacious reputation to the battlefield. The objective was to help Afghanistan provide security for its people and resume its rightful place among the peaceful community of nations. As we take time to reflect on our division's great history and its accomplishments, our thoughts remain with those units still engaged in combat operations in Afghanistan. Above all, we bear the memory of the Screaming Eagles who made the ultimate sacrifice in a land where liberty and freedom have been earned and preserved. The Screaming Eagles of the 101st Airborne Division Air Assault remain trained and ready for their next rendezvous with destiny.